Ladies and gentlemen, up next we have Luis Contreras monitoring SAP systems with Nagios. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Luis. Thank you. Everybody hear me? Everybody listen? Okay. So, uh, today I'm, I'm going to talk how to monitor um, SAP system with Nagios Core. Um, actually, this is my, my agenda. Uh, who am I? So I will explain some SAP stuff about how an SAP system works, you know, before passing to the next, to the next point. We explain some SAP concept, and then we see how we rock with Nagios Core. So, now, Nagios Independent Contractor, I'll be working with Nagios in some projects, and the community leader from Dominican Republic. I write, I write some how-to in Spanish for the community, and you speak it. And my core job is to be a SAP basis administrator and the same as SAP HANA database administrator. So I like to test new stuff. Uh, bike rider is something that I want to accomplish very soon, not yet, <laughs> you know? So let's begin. So. SAP is one of the biggest ERP in the market. Many people know this product. Many, many companies use it around the world. Uh, it has many modules like forecasting, replacement, human resources, etc. Uh, it's multi-platform. You know, you're going to find uh, SAP system on Windows, Unis, um, Linux, etc. While bigger, more complex. If, or what it, it, it depends. Uh, how big is the company, how many models have the company with SAP system. So it's going to be. Uh, it has other products like business intelligence and Porta. So this is more or less the, the structure of the concept of the, all the models that an SAP system you have um, around the R3, the client server application, etc. So I will explain this. Um, an SAP system, it has a SAP GUI. It's a little interface where I connect to the an SAP system. So it has three flavors, which is a Windows, a Java, or a HTML interface in order to interact with an SAP system. Uh, a SAP server definition is where I define the, uh, which server I'm going to use, and um, which instance number of my SAP system I'm going to connect. In SAP system, you can, you can have more than one instance number because you can distribute the connection of many users in, in, in the same server. So you can separate by groups. You can connect here, this group is going to connect by this uh, instance number, and so on. So this is kind of, this some some of the concepts that we are going to see graphically in order to understand an SAP system. Here we have a, a graphic. So in the first, I have many petition requests from the user. It can be a user that has a, a SAGUI. It can be a user that is connected to business intelligence, uh, a portal, from anywhere. So the dispatcher is going to, to send this request to a different process inside the, the SAP. So for example, if you see this, I, I have yellow word process, background process, and cube, and so on. A yellow word process is when the user is going to see the result of a request or the execution or transaction in SAP system. So background word process are execution that the user is not going to receive, is not going to see what's happening. It's going to, to run on background. And Q are, it could be a dialog word process or background word process that is waiting to finish in order to continue to execute another program inside an SAP system. An update word process is uh, basic, basically uh, some modification in the SAP system by the user 
maybe it's working with a, a document, maybe it's, it's updating a, a profile of a, of a user, and so on. Um, the spook word process are the word process that control printing. All the printing sessions that a, a user executes are sent to the, to the spook word process. So these, all these work process are in application servers. For that reason, in SAP system, I can have several application servers in order to distribute a workload of the SAP system. So if you have 100, 200 users, one for the inventory, human resource, forecast replacement, using different models, you need to distribute the workload. For that reason, we, we have this, we, can, we need to put this in different application server. So, in this, you have to be careful about the memory because one word process is consuming more or less two giga, two gigabyte of memory or three gigabyte of memory, one, only one word process. Imagine when it is demanding too much memory in order to process and interact with the, with the database management system, you know, interact with the database. You need to, to make this. In, in the good processes of this, it's good to have the application server separate from the database server in order, to ha in order, in order not to have a uh, problem of performance and so on. So let's talk with Nagio. In this, I will show in a simple, simple way how to monitor in this vitamin, how I can monitor an SAP system. The situation is this. An SAP basis wants to monitor message server, application server, process and services, supports other services, but he, she doesn't want to install any SAP plugin on SAP system. It's important to to point this part, uh, doesn't want to start any plugin in SAP system. SAP, an SAP system is a great, uh, it's a great system. But if you start something that could make unstable the system, you will have a lot of problems. By my experience, uh, I have been installing a security node, a support package, and it's terrible when. One of those things doesn't work very well. It's terrible. So this is the, the simple way. So here I'm not using another thing like NoSQL in order to make the configuration. I'm using the plain test file of the Nahios. So here, as you know, many of you, I define my SAP server in a simple way. And now I have identified and as, as a SAP basis the ports that I need to monitor for the SAP system specific. For example, 3200 is the support number for the dispatcher that we were showing before. The 3300 is a gateway port and so on. 33 is the message server and 39 is the internet transaction services. This is a simple system. If I have other systems, including, including the Sunny Weaver, uh, like business, uh, business intelligence, like business soyet, or, or maybe support, uh, I will include other ports that are not shown here. So, the SAP basically doesn't want to install it. So I made a simple script in Bash in order to monitor the, this work, work process. That's the name of the, for this patch. So this is a simple script where I can monitor this process. And here I have the same script for the message server. So I use an RPE in order to 
to call in order to monitor those process. It's something very, very, very simple. I define my Windows CFG file. So here, this is the set management control when I see that my SAP system is up. If I go, for example, if I go to the task manager window, I see the same. The name of the process and the PID of that process. So, it is one of those would be in yellow or in gray, we have problem. So, here I have my another simple script the same in order to monitor <laughs> the instance. In this case, I only have one instance for the SAP system. And so distribute um, installation or, or SAP system, you could have three, four, five, anyone. H how much as you need? Here I call the how to monitor my my instance with an RP in a simple way. This is very important to point. Here, if you see a zero, this indicates that is my in num instance number. If I have another one, it's going to be one, two, and so on. For that reason, I point this in order to have it clear that you can have more than one instance, okay? Here is how it looks in there. And as I said, in the file, how it looks in order to, to call the script from the NFPA. Very, very, very simple. And here, how in my nice way interface, I see that all my process are being monitored and they are okay. So, I'm a happy Nahios user <laughs> and a happy basis administrator <laughs> to have all my process up. So, what we have seen here, how SAP works, how Nahios could help you monitor your NCP environment and how the, and you can accomplish this step in on your side. So I'm ready for all the questions. So, have you look into, looked into using uh, dependencies? Because for example, if Oracle is down, then perhaps several SAP services are down. So you wouldn't necessarily have to check all of them. You could just say, if Oracle is down, all these other SAP services are down, right? Because Nagios has these sort of dependencies built in. Right. Okay. Well, if or you mean the uh, about uh, Oracle database, monitor Oracle database. Well, I'm saying that since SAP has several different services, uh -huh. some of them are interdependent. So, for example, I don't know what the interdependencies are within SAP services. I'm just wondering if you've looked into uh, the hierarchical Nagios. Checks. Does anybody know how to explain this better? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm more or less in the For example, um, going back here, if you have problem with your database, like Oracle, MathDB, or SQL Server, your SAP system in, is not going to work. That's that the first uh, the first site, right? So. Of course, if you have uh, an SAP system being monitored by, by Nagios, you need to have your database and all the process involved in the service where Oracle is running too. Because any issue in your server, when your SAP system is involved, you are going to have a great problem with, with your SAP system. Including, if a simple full log of the database it does, it's going to make this doesn't work very well. So you are gonna you are gonna have a problem. Luis? So would you say uh, monitoring if the processes are running or not, would you say that's enough? Or like do you think you still need more monitoring? Is there anything else that you would want to check? as well. 
Well, this is a, the, the simple of monitoring the, the part of the, of the SAP system. Of course, you need to, mon to monitor more. There are a lot of things involved in the, in the national, for a, in, sorry, in the SAP system. For example, in the other side, in the operating system, you have the, the files that we call the kernel of the an SAP system. So you, to, you need to monitor those kind of files in order to detect another, another issue inside SAP or something that you need, for example, the thick space in SAP system is very important because um, in some models of an SAP system, files physically grow, not only in the database, physically. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to ask, like, you, you avoided having to do an SAP plugin, and is SAP provide like an API that you can actually call to get into the internals for SAP? Well, of officially, um, an SAP system has its own product for monitoring SAP system. That is solution solution manager. It's a, another word of the an SAP. It's, you, it's, uh, it's a product uh, used to monitor everything, absolutely everything, an SAP system. So, uh, I don't know, I just know, sorry, I just know one, one product developed by a German guy that integrate, that use a part of the some transaction of the SAP system with Nahio. Only, only one I know about it. Excellent. Thank you very much, Luis. Very informative. <laughs> Let's put your hands together, give them a round of applause.